This ECG is showing paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia due to alcohol intoxication. Let's watch the rhythm closely. You can see a slow rhythm here. And then, all of a sudden, a fast rhythm. Terminating again. Just watch closely. We can see that this is a sinus rhythm due to the P wave, which is directly followed by a completely normal R wave and a T wave. The baseline flutter can easily be identified as 50 Hz flutter from improper grounding of the ECG machine. Respiratory frequency, AF, on the bottom left shows zero, as the breathing is very shallow, because the patient, that is me, is laying in bed. And uh, that also allows you to see that this is not some kind of respiratory sinus arrhythmia, but rather the stated paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Certain arrhythmias of the heart, amongst them also atrial fibrillation, may be referred to as the so-called holiday heart syndrome, which is pretty much a cardiotoxic effect of alcohol. It is theorized to be uh, adrenergic effects from adrenergic hormones or uh, increased levels of plasma-free fatty acids, as well as uh, an altered intracellular pH value, which can be uh, acidosis or alkalosis. It depends on the dose of alcohol that you ingested. And uh, this seems to, to trigger these effects, even in healthy people, sometimes. And they're usually completely reversible after about 24 hours of seizing alcohol consumption. However, atrial fibrillation, which cannot be seen in this ECG, can cause the formation of blood clots and thus strokes or heart attacks. But this is rare and, uh, and more severe effects usually only affect people with underlying cardiac conditions. Right now what we can see on the monitor is quite a long phase of a rapid heart rhythm, which will be terminated shortly. There we go, termination of the rapid heart rhythm, and a rapid change from 90 beats per minute to 60 beats per minute. Alterations of very slow and very fast heart rhythms, where the fast heart rhythms usually are not sinus rhythms, may also point to sick sinus syndrome, but uh, those rhythms, as I said, usually are not sinus rhythms. They might be uh, atrial uh, flutter or even some kind of ventricular flutter or fibrillation, and are usually uh, severe bradycardia, so a heart rate of under 40 beats per minute, which may be an arterioventricular uh, replacing rhythm and a very fast heart rhythm, so way over 100 beats per minute. Um, but this is not present in this case, as I said. So, with my personal case of holiday heart syndrome, I wish you all a happy new year.